Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor and singer Ricky Martin is facing some serious allegations today. Most of us here in the States will remember him from living La Vida Loca. But those who have followed his career know he's had a very long, illustrious career as an actor and singer, a huge celebrity in Puerto Rico where he's from. My family loves him and his charity work. So I was looking at these allegations with, you know, a deeper eye as I always am. These allegations are serious, guys. And I don't know if you've been following the case, but he was charged with the restraint order and it turned out that the person who uh, accused him was his nephew and then the case got weirder where it extended where the nephew was accusing him of having a relationship with him uh stalking him showing up to his house unwanted uh and doing uh, emotional uh abusc etc uh and things got kind of crazy i asked you guys right out the gate uh for those of you been hearing the story from outliers what do you think do you believe this obviously we need more evidence but i was curious how the public perceives ricky martin and it looks like a majority of you uh, were saying no we don't buy this 64 percent saying that's not him about 35 percent of you saying oh yeah he's a creep uh, loading that again yeah it stayed about the same um so what happened what's going on there's been a lot of misinformation first it was his cousin some people saying oh it's his cousin and his nephew no uh first of all ricky martin has come out and denied these allegations and i gotta be careful on certain words here trying to get this through the filters uh ricky martin's attorney has spoken for ricky saying absolute nonsense untrue disgusting but what actually was happening what was allegated what were the allegations against ricky i want to bring all this to front and i want to give you my sort of research that we have so far as to why i'm not buying it yet again when these allegations come up we got to do our homework and we got to gather information but i want to stand up and out for ricky martin i think i hope you guys will too so far i'm not seeing anything that gets me worried i i have a lot of reasons why i don't buy it and i want to arm you with it as you go out there and we wait for more evidence to come forward obviously if new evidence arises where i will change my mind i will be the first to tell you but uh ricky's nephew reportedly has been identified as the individual who was granted the restraining order against the pop singer this month Puerto Rican judge approved the restraining order on July 2nd, but the identity of the accuser had been unknown until now. According to Spanish newspaper, Martin's brother, Eric, identified the artist's nephew, Dennis Yadiel Sanchez, as his accuser. According to the restraining order, which was filed under Puerto Rican's DV law, Martin and Sanchez had been in a seven-month relationship. Martin already refused to accept their breakup and was found loitering outside of Sanchez's home on three different occasions. Sanchez also accused Martin of physical and psychological ABUSC. A uh, court hearing is scheduled for July 21st. Until then, Martin is prohibited from contact contacting his accuser. Now, Ricky Martin, his representative, said immediately denied this, said, and their, their response was, unfortunately, the person who has made this claim is struggling with deep mental health challenges. Um, Ricky Martin has, of course, never been and would never be involved in any kind of any kind of relationship with his nephew the idea is not only untrue it is disgusting we all hope that this man gets the help he so urgently needs but most of all we look forward to this awful case being dismissed as the judge as, as soon as the judge gets to look at the facts now ricky has made a statement himself uh to protect uh, the protection order against me is, is based on complete false allegations so i will respond through the judicial process with the facts and the dignity the dignity that characterize me because it is an ongoing legal matter i cannot make detailed statements at this time i am grateful for the countless messages of celerity and receive them with all my heart in fact if you go to ricky's twitter he's launched an album and he's moved on. He's talking about his new album they just surprise released yesterday. Uh, or I guess it was a couple days ago. Sorry, he's pr been promoting it, though. His new album, Play. Uh, the timing of this also seems suspect. Allegations dropping just as an album is dropped. That's weird. It's timing. Why then? Uh, also, something else to go through, which I want to go through all of this together. Ricky has previously been in a lawsuit with his old uh, manager. Uh, his ex-manager, Rebecca Drucker, has been suing him or is attempting to sue him for $3 million. Now, again, motive is always what I look for in these cases. Why Why is this happening now? What's going on? And this, uh, not only was she suing him for $3 million, she alleged, and this was, you know, a, a week, uh, literally a couple weeks ago, days before this all happened, um, that there was a career-ending allegation. Hmm. Now, 
one could say, all right, these are connected, but let's let's dig a little deeper into this. This ex-manager says she saved Ricky's career. 15-page suit seen by the Post alleged there was one problem. Martin completely and maliciously refused to pay Rebecca the millions of dollars in commissions that he owes her under their management agreement. With Rebecca at his side, Martin made millions of dollars and therefore owes Rebecca substantial commissions. Okay, now if she had just said that, then it would be what it is, you know? But no, that's not all she said. Uh... There was a, she then dropped, there was a potentially career ending allegation in September 2020. She fiercely protected Martin, advised him, and brought in top litigation counsel to handle the matter. Due to her help and knowledge, she noted Martin reportedly emerged unscathed and proceeded with his professional researches. Why are you, so the fact that she's bringing this up in her suit tells me this is about digging up dirt. This is about, we're going to embarrass you, pay me off now or else. It's just weird, all the timing of this. And what allegation? What is it? Is it this one? I don't think so, because this, this, this wouldn't line up. Now set to play a lead role in the series. She's now, he's in his prime, you know, reached his heights of his fame and fortune, she's claiming. Again, album, series launch. Lawsuit accuses Martin of having a toxic work environment, particularly ugly incident in Dubai involving Martin as representative. Again, what? What are the specifics? Why? Sounds like a bitter employee to me, personally. Uh, Drucker claims the lawsuit Martin's career flourished since he rehired Rebecca as his manager, according to her, right? The years that they were in play... He was he was same. It wasn't like she discovered him during the living Menudo or living La Vida Loca days. Uh, so she's claiming they're forced. She she was forced to deal with a litany of Martin's personal issues, such as problems with the nanny he hired to care for his children, non-payment of taxes, and substance abuse. I mean, ugh, really? This is how you're trying to get the money as her as as the manager of his music career. Something's off with this. Document alleged that there was a forced ending of their business relationship, again, a keyword business relationship, and claimed that the former, uh, whoops, claimed the former Menudo um, star uh, threatened her to keep silent with an NDA. She refused to sign and then uh, has requested the trial by jury uh, is what she wants. Because she wants a settlement, guys. So again, the timing of this is sus. And then you got to go, all right, well, this, who's this allegation coming from? This, this nephew, right, which Ricky has denied and said, no, -uh, not true. Well, then we got to look a little deeper into Dennis Yadiel Sanchez. And as I go through this, uh, uh, he was um, the 21-year-old the son of Ricky's sister, Vanessa. According to the indictment, I can't tell if that's by blood or not. I've also heard re reports that it's his stepsister, but I, I, maybe not, um, or through marriage. But it's I, I, that I can't get clear either way. Still in the family, I guess. According to the, it is officially not even. I didn't mean to shrug that off. It still would be weird, and I don't think he did. According to the indictment made by Dennis, her uncle Ricky allegedly, uh, her uncle Ricky allegedly had a seven-month consenting, but gotta can't say that word uh, relationship. The young man claims in a statement that Ricky was uh, abused against him during the relationship, uh, and he did not handle the breakup well. He requested a restraining order as a result because, in his opinion. Ricky was following him home. In his opinion. Something's off here. So we look, we, uh, others have done, and I looked in, yes, this fellow has other restraining orders against him. This is not the first time he's done this. So who is this guy? Well, yes, his background uh, has a lot against him. Now, this, this thing that they're putting against Ricky is a serious in Puerto Rico because of the word I can't say because it's the nephew. 50-year prison term is what could be imposed. But, uh, as uh, and this comes from Ventanot, I can't say this word, sorry, I don't speak Spanish, uh, Ventanado, YouTube channel, and uh, Puerto Rican journalist Fernando Velez. Please reach out to me, Fernando. I'd love to have you on and clarify more in a live. If you want to, hit me up on Twitter, Instagram, Telegram, and Andy Signor. Uh, but this reporter did this digging and found out that he has a current protection order against him because he was became obsessed with it. Uh, La Lorreta makes repeated uh, another person. Sorry, getting all these last names improper. Um, because he made uh, repeated close-up wanted shows up at her place and threatened to destroy her. This is the person that has a restraining order against him, uh, the, the nephew. Uh, so all of this is out there. Uh, so Vela says that Ricky's nephew has a restraining order against him because he is allegedly harassing her, a coworker. Dennis asked the court to get rid of the restraining order, but it said no. So the court didn't throw it out. He has restraining orders against him. There are further uh, cases filed 
against the nephew, proving all of this previous legal history. So he's got a lot of a lot of crimes against him or things. He's in the system a lot, and accordingly was following this allegedly was following this woman to her job and declared he would annihilate her when speaking about it. Uh, he experienced from Claudia. She said she appeared. He appeared to him uh, at the office. July 3rd, Martin responded to the charge on uh, Twitter. So anyway, this was the uh, uh, Martin's, Ricky's response. But as we get all this information, not only does the nephew have a career history, which again, sus, huge red flags. Uh, Ricky's uh, brother, Eric, did a... But the, uh, uh, ex the translations here say that he has a diagnosed mental health illness lifelong history of it and so he, he needs help not not uh not this so again all these things pile up and uh i'm not buying this one i'm not buying this one that's just me and uh, part of the reason it, it just aside from the fact that I, I i applaud that ricky's moving on and going through and launching the album and not taking this seriously in fact if you go to ricky's instagram there's like not even a mention of it uh, he's made his sort of social media statements. It's all over the press, and the press leading right now is Ricky's responses. Could something have happened? Absolutely, and we'll cover it if it did. However, this goes against everything. As I've learned more about Ricky, my Puerto Rican family loves him, not just because of the Puerto Rican heritage, but the charity work he does is massive. And and again, he's he's there trying to help children uh, from you know serious things. I can't say some of the words here, but his. Uh, People for Children Project. I, this is uh, through the Ricky Martin Foundation. I, I mean, I, this doesn't make any sense that this would be happening. Some of you might say, well, it makes perfect sense, Andy. What a perfect cover. I, I'm not buying it yet. I need some serious evidence to this is a huge allegation, given the man and all that he does, all the work he does, a lot of work he does, he, which he seems to take genuine love from uh, with these children. Um, he's in a, a marriage with his partner, uh, after he came out and they have children together twins all of this just isn't lining up for me this feels like a takedown piece uh, and uh, no I'm not I'm not buying it yet and I'm gonna stand up for Ricky innocent until proven guilty is what we try to do here on this channel as often as we can right that's what that's what it's supposed to be uh, sometimes that things come up and we have our own feelings and we do what we say however with like Amber Heard and then it took the jury to actually confirm it but uh, in this instance, I'm team Ricky Martin, and that's my reasoning for. The one I'm not for, Elon Musk's dad. <laughs> I think I might have to do a separate video about this one, so stay tuned if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button, hit the bell for all alerts, smash that like button, and stay tuned for more coverage here on Popcorn Planet. Appreciate you guys. Also, be live if you're a member. I'll be alive tomorrow for a special members-only stream with a lot of personal updates for the channel you're not going to miss it if you're not a member support our coverage hit join uh pick a tier hit join and you'll be a member and you'll be able to catch all of our member only replays appreciate you guys so much stay tuned for more here on popcorn planet